Hello everyone, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add a delay time to a tween. Here in my workspace, I have three different parts, Y0, Y1, and Y2. Now go ahead and go to your server script service, create a script and put in the following lines. We're going to be tweening the, the top part, the Y0 part, and basically this is a, just a basic tween. We're setting the time to be seven, so it's gonna take seven seconds to complete the tween. Everything else, we're using the default for everything else. So here the first parameter again is the time, and then we have the easing style, which is squat, that is the default. Easing direction, out, is the default. The repeat count, zero, that is the default. And the reverse flag, we set it to false. That is also the default. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to copy this. We'll paste it down here. And this time we're changing the second part, which is the middle part, Y1. And we're going to add one new parameter here. We're going to add the delay time. The delay time before the tween starts. So we're going to give it five seconds before we start the tween. Let's now play and take a look. So both tweens are exactly the same, but the top one is gonna start right away. This one, there's a five seconds delay before it starts. And there it goes. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna see what happened if we add a reverse to the tween. So I'm gonna copy this. And I'll come down here. This time we're gonna change our Y2, which is the bottom piece. And we're gonna set the reverse flag to true. Let's play and take a look. So the question is, will it have a five seconds delay before it reverses? Or will it just go there and reverse? See, these two have a five seconds delay, but now will it stop here for five seconds or not? And the answer is no, it does not stop there for five seconds. It just goes back. So the delay is before the tween started, but it does not delay for five seconds when it switches to re reverse. And the last thing that I'm interested to see here is what happens if we have a repeat count in here? So I'm going to change the second piece and the final piece to add a one time repeat count to them. Let's play and take a look. So the top one should go first. These two have a five seconds delay. There it goes. And the third one, the bottom piece, should reverse back. There it goes. This one has a five second delay. So it waited here for five seconds before it starts a new tween. And this one has a five second delay too. So it waited back here. And it goes and then it's going to go back. All right, so the delay time, if you have no reverses, if you have a repeat count with uh, no reverses, then instead of going back here and wait, it's going to wait here at the end point for the, the delay time. And then when it starts, it's going to start here and it's going to go up again. If you have a reverse in your tween, then it's automatically going to go here and reverses back. So it's going to wait here for the, the uh, delay time and then it's going to start a new tween. All right, everyone. So these are all the possible parameters that you can have for your tween info dot new. Again, the first parameter is the time. The second parameter is the easing style. The third parameter 
is your easing direction. And then you have your repeat count. You have your reverse flag. And then you have your delay time. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care.